Hello everybody, this is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Since it's getting close to Christmas, I thought I would show something Christmas Christmassy. And on that note, we are going to be creating a ribbon, which is, you know, what you find on top of your presents if you get presents or on your big bundle of coal. Anyhow, <clears throat> let's start off by uh creating a quick background. Something like this. And then we need to get our basic shape for the ribbon. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool uh, over on your vector shapes. And I'm just going to draw out something, I don't know. I'm mainly looking for this width right here to be the size of the ribbon that I want. So when you got that, click your arrow here. And let's change this to maybe a blue color. Um, wow, okay. That's good enough. Let's select this point right here, and then I'm going to drag it in. Select this one, I'm going to drag it in. Uh, maybe a little smaller, that, that, that works. All right, so now that I have that, I want to round this off because ribbon isn't usually just straight cut like that. I, at least mine isn't. So I'm going to grab this pen tool with the plus sign, and I'm going to add one point here, one point here, one here and maybe one more right here alright so now I can grab this and I can drag it up maybe something like this very good and then I'm going to drag another one here maybe something like that so it kinda of looks like it's arching over and this I want to round off this side I don't know. You can play with it. See what you think looks good. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Alright, so now that we have that, we need to make it look more realistic. So how do we do that? Well, let's give it maybe a pinstripe in the center. Or, you know, make this so it's one solid color, another color, and then the same color at the top. And I'm going to do that by clicking right here. And then I'm going to click here. Uh, right here should prob probably work. Click, hold down Alt, and just click that so it gets rid of one of the anchor points. And I'm going to click here. Maybe right here. And then here. Let's change this color to white. OK. And then change this to overlay. And bring down that opacity way, way down. And then I'm going to right click this layer and go to create clipping mask. And you can't see that, I apologize, but it's going to cut off whatever's overhanging this bottom layer right here, as you can see. All right, so now we have the basic shape. We need to make it look more realistic. And to do that, you need to do shadowing. It's not a whole lot of fun, but it will make this look a whole, whole lot better. So let's uh, grab a paintbrush, bring this way down. So I'm going to just do this with my mouse. If you have a tablet, that might be better. I'm just going to click and you click and just quickly draw around there. And then if uh, you want to modify that a little bit, you can grab your smudge tool and then you know just push it around. You bring this one in a little bit something like that and then change this to overlay and we're going to be using a lot of overlay so get used to it and stop complaining and then let's create another layer and get black as our color and we are going to paint around the edges here and as you can see I'm creating a layer and they all have these arrows it's all using this bottom layer as a clipping mask so it doesn't go outside of the lines And I'm not going to worry about these this side right here because that's going to be covered by the center of the ribbon. Alright, lower down that opacity. Just so it has a little bit of depth. Looks good. And then let's create another layer. And let's create some more shadows in the center here. 
So I'm not really sure how to do this, but we'll figure it out. I'm just going to start by drawing like an arch like that. Let's bring down the opacity. Grab the eraser tool. And let's just erase here. And then over here as well. Looking good. Lower that opacity. And maybe one more shadow over here. Like that. Lower that opacity way down. And now we, we can edit that a little bit, but let's first get some highlights. So just like we did with the black, I'm going to do it with the white. Changes to overlay. And then come over to here and maybe add a little bit of highlight in here. Let's maybe drag it to the bottom layer. Okay. And then lower that opacity down. That might be a little sharp over here. Okay, that's good enough. We can worry about it more some la later. Uh, now I want to add a little bit of a stroke to the edge. So I'm going to do that by holding down Command, click this, go to the top, <clears throat> go to Edit, Stroke, and just like a blending option, this is going to add a stroke, one pixel white to the inside, click OK, and let's try changing that to overlay. Looks good. And now I'm going to erase certain parts of this. Like that, and lower the opacity. Alright, that's good enough. And now that we have that, we can create maybe like an overlapping, you know, like a rotating in the back, like the ribbon is folded. So I'm going to do that by creating a new layer below everything. Grab the pen tool, and let's zoom in for this one. And click on this corner. I decided to speed this up a little bit because I end up redoing it because I didn't like the shape that it created. And create a little bit of highlight maybe over here. I don't know what I'm doing. Create clipping mask. And I think this might be poking out a little bit too high. This is just me tinkering with it until I get the shape that I'm looking for. A little bit difficult, but it turns out nicely in the end. Okay, that looks good enough. So again, let's make that selection, new layer, edit, stroke, one pixel, and then change that to overlay, bring down that opacity, and there we go. We have one side of the ribbon. And now, for the right side, normally I would recommend making a whole new side for it, but since we're on running low on time, I'm just going to uh, duplicate this over. So let's group this one, which is that back piece, and we're going to name it Ribbon Back. Select this, and I'm going to group it together and name this Ribbon Left. And then with just the Ribbon Left, not the back, I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and drag it over. Command T and flip it horizontally. And maybe we can pick it up a bit. Nah, let's just leave it straight. That'll make things a bit easier. And now what we have left is a center piece. So to do that, let's just center the whole ribbon a little bit. And then above everything, we're going to create a new layer. Zoom in. And then I'm going to grab the pen tool. And I'm going to draw this one by hand. You can just get a rectangle tool if you want. But drawing it by hand seems to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. So I'm going to click here and then arch it over and then click like this you know so it's coming in an archy loop let me change this to normal so you can see what I'm doing if you want to modify these you can hold down alt and then click and drag and then I'm going to come over to here and just connect it looks good now I want to modify a couple of these points so there's uh, no the, no piece of the background showing. There we go. Lovely job. I did a very good job, didn't I? Don't answer. All right, so now I want to pretty much do the same thing that I did with these ribbons. And I'm going to grab a background color. So let's take this, copy it. 
Oops, wrong color. Let's take this one, copy it, and then just note what opacity this is. This is at 43. All right. So just remember 43. Let's paste this in right here. Zoom in, and let's create that center, the center line. And I'm going to do that by, just like we did last time, I'm going to click here, arch it over, maybe round it off here a little bit, and then click, click, click here, round it off, and then close it up. All right, and then I'm going to change this to overlay, change this back to 43, and then change this to create clipping mask. Very good. So now that we have the basic shape, we can do some highlights and whatnot to this actual piece. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer. Um, drag it to the top so it still has that arrow so it's a clipping path, a clipping mask. And then I'm going to draw in I don't know, something like this. Just a weird shape. And then change this to overlay. Let's bring down that opacity. And then create a new layer with black. And I'm going to draw some in here. Maybe something like that. Bring that opacity way down. And then erase bits that I don't like. Eh, that's good enough. All right, so again, I want to go around the edges with a little with a black with a black brush. Doing this just adds a little bit of depth. Lower that opacity so it's not so harsh. And then below everything, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to just paint in a shadow like this. Looks good. All right, so now I want to erase that from all these little from the left side and the right side. So I'm going to go to ribbon left hold down command make that selection go over to ribbon left <laughs> but which is really the right one gonna hold on command and shift make that selection then go to select inverse and delete and then I'm going to lower that opacity down zoom out and you can see what we got it looks good alright so let me zoom out and see what we have to do left we need to do these bottom bottom ribbons. So let's just do that really quickly because you kind of get the idea already where we're going with this. So let me just make this selection, group it, and name this center. Let's change this to ribbon right. And now below everything, because these ribbons are on the bottom, I'm going to create those two little things that come right here. Let's zoom in. Grab your pen tool. And let's just click here. Whoa, look at all my clicking skills. That works. And then let's create, uh, let's give it the correct color. Let's see if we still have it pasted. Changes from overlay to normal. Bring up the opacity. Now that it's proper coloring, I can see that this bottom end is a little bit funky, so I'm going to fix that up a little bit. Good enough. And now, just like we did before, I'm going to create a new layer above it and then paint in that center lighter stroke. So let's just do something really quickly. Like that. All right. And let me fix this corner right here. This is giving me a little bit of trouble. Good enough. You get an idea. All right. So let me change that to overlay white and then white. And it still has the opacity correct, so create clipping mask. And there we go, perfect. Now let's create the quickly create the shadowing and whatnot. So I'm going to grab a black paintbrush. Uh, let's see, maybe something like that. I'm going to create a new layer because I want this to be lighter. Okay, lower that opacity, lower this one not so much, grab the eraser tool, and I'm going to erase a little bit. And then create the highlights again, <laughs> a lot of the same process, ooh, what did I do? Okay, and then I'm going to create the highlights right here, just something small. Okay. 
and then maybe a little bit right there. Change that to overlay and then lower that opacity and then grab your eraser tool just to make it pretty and then let's lower this opacity and maybe have it so it comes out here a little bit okay good enough you get the idea <laughs> erase it alright so now I want to give this a stroke like we did before above everything going to go edit stroke inside but change this to white change that to overlay bring down that opacity looks good and maybe we can erase this little bottom corner a little bit let's lower this opacity and this one alright good enough and now I want to add a shadow right here so that looks more realistic so again above even the stroke I'm going to grab a black paintbrush and I'm going to paint down a quick shadow select this selection inverse and delete lower that opacity grab your eraser and let's smooth out these edges a bit zoom out and that looks perfect alright so let's group that group and then I'm going to name this bottom ribbon duplicate it flip it horizontally and we can maybe drag it up so it doesn't look so uniform or symmetric whatever bring it to the bottom and then open this one up and then let's create a new shadow and it's going to be right here uh, maybe we can slide it over to the right just slightly alright so create the new shadow right here looks good make the selection selection inverse and delete lower the opacity alright let me show you something cool I just learned this the other day actually select all these layers hide this background click command uh, alt shift E and it will make a quick composition of everything that's not hidden so as you can see it grouped uh, it made a quick composition of this ribbon but yet I still have all my layers here so how could we use this um, double click it and bring down the fill opacity all the way down go to a pattern overlay and let's maybe give it something quick uh, something that looks like fabric okay let's try this changes to multiply maybe lower that opacity and there you go so now because we did that we can hide it and it has the pattern take it off there you go you get the idea so let's just make this background a little bit prettier let's create a new layer above it flip to a white brush and maybe just do some quick like that uh, changes to overlay maybe add some noise here uh, create a new layer fill it with white filter noise add noise people hate noise but I actually like it so change that to multiply lower that opacity and there you go let me take off the no the pattern from the ribbon so you can see what we did that looks good and that's going to conclude this tutorial please be sure to subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up if you feel it deserves that thumbs down if uh, you're the Grinch <clears throat> and be sure to check out our Twitter page which is twitter.com forward slash pixel for, for life and you can hit me up there if you have any questions um, or just send me a PM or leave it in a comment thanks for watching and see you next time